<clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? I got the, uh, probably not the last video that you'll watch on this. This will probably be one of the first. Um, but this is the final video that I am recording for myself for this whole entire Make Your Own uh, series. So what this one's going to be about is how to treat your decal sheets. And the way that, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to make this kind of an emphasis and this to be the first part, uh, one, welcome to this to the series and, and welcome to uh, to the shop. And if, if you've purchased any of our decals, or my decal sheets rather, off the shop, then, uh, then I welcome you to that and I thank you for it. Um, what you get out of that and what I plan to do in the future is have all the decal sheets that I have made. And you can see my ugly pile over here. Uh, there's some stripes, there's some front bumpers that you get uh, in your set, uh, the full of the Rydell that'll go on go on the uh, the front of these right here um, for the ones that, that don't have it. Uh, you'll find that NFL teams, NFL helmets don't have one and college do. That's why I buy college sets. It's just easier for me and uh, it, it already comes with that and I don't have to use as, as many of those, but... Um, what you have in your possession right now is our FBS, our independent set. Um, this whole entire sheet right here, I just saw BYU fall, but that's okay. This is a colored sheet to where you'll print on white paper. And then somewhere down here, right here, is our clear sheet. Just like that. I'll have another video up explaining what the difference is between the two. Just know that when you're, you'll notice if you look in our picture, a lot of the shells that I work with are white. I use clear. A lot of the shells that I work with that are uh, colored, maybe uh, navy blue, um, painted gold, or this maroon color, I use white paper to keep the color and to preserve it. There'll be some instruction <clears throat> that come with it if you do your own research online about water slide decal paper. Uh, they'll give you some instruction on how to how to set it up your sheets, but I've already done that for you. All you have to figure out is uh, what sheets you want to use. I mean, some people like Papilio, some people like uh, Micromark, like myself, um, but I'm not going to recommend one or the other for you. I'm just going to do what works for me, uh, and that's basically what this series is. You might find that some things work for you, some things don't. You don't like one way or the other, and that's completely okay. I'm not saying there's one right or wrong way to do this. I'm just saying that this is what's worked for me. I've gotten a lot of compliments about the way that I do things and, and the look that I get. Uh, you can look on the shop at pocketprolocker.com. You can go on Etsy and you can see the reviews over there uh, just of, uh, of how happy people are with, with the way it is. I get Facebook messages all the time saying uh, how awesome the colors are when they receive them or when they view them on the shop. So uh, what this is today is gonna how, how to treat it. Okay, uh, I have kind of a, a little random one here that I, sh I shouldn't have wasted so much space. I usually don't, as you can see here. Uh, I usually don't waste this much space, but since this is just a simple order and I, things have kind of slowed down for me because I've got a lot going on uh, in my personal life, uh, this is what we're doing today. So what I first did and what you need to do as soon as this gets out of the, out of the printer, uh, let it dry first. This is a mistake that I made. Uh, I used to I used to spray it right off the bat. As soon as it was out of the printer, spray. Uh, that's something you don't need to do. You need to let the color settle. You need to let the ink settle. That way it doesn't run a whole lot. Um, that way you're not compromising the paper in any sort of way. So you let it set. Uh, it just depends. I just put it off to the side, maybe 30 minutes, and I let it kind of dry that way. Um, your printer might not be the same length of time. I don't know. This is a lot of this is experimenting with yourself and being patient with yourself as far as this is, is concerned. Uh, the next thing you'll do after this dries is you're going to hit it with three coats of this product right here. And I'll leave that right there for just a minute as I speak about it. It is Def Clear Coat, uh, Clear Wood Finish, rather, gloss. Not semi gloss, gloss. Um, not uh, what is it, matte or anything like that, it's gloss, as you can tell right there. And that's the same way over here, what I'll speak about here in just a second. You'll first hit this sheet with a light coat. And what you wanna do, you wanna make sure you get everything on here. You wanna get the purples, you especially wanna get the reds, the greens, the blacks. Um, you'll go through that first, you'll hit it with a second heavier coat, and then you'll hit it with a final third coat and you'll let them obviously settle in between each you'll let them dry i let them dry for i don't know an hour 45 minutes to an hour maybe uh just to make sure that that you get that you'll be able to tell 
Uh, if it's dry, just basically if you touch the paper and it's sticky, I don't recommend touching the paper, but if you're thinking after maybe 20 minutes, you're like, oh, I wonder if this is dry and you touch it and it's sticky, obviously it's not dry. You gotta wait until it's like nice and glossy the way this is right now um, to where I can just run my hand over it and nothing really happens. So you hit it with three coats of that and technically uh, the paper is ready to go after that. Um, I, and as well as a lot of other people to where I got this tutorial from, uh, use a, another product and this is the uh, lacquer, brushing lacquer. It's just kind of like this clear liquid and do one final step for your decal sheets. So what I'm going to do is just kind of show you how to do it real quick. You dab a paper towel in there, start running it over your sheet. I always do this at night. Uh, and I let all of this dry overnight. And I be sure to get everything, get the edges. Uh, one easy way to know if you sealed your decal sheets right, uh, you'll look at the color red if you have it on there. I think both of these do have some sort of color red. Uh, if it starts running off or if you do anything, if it does anything weird or any of the colors just start to smear, you've done it wrong, obviously. Um, also, you might want to always, if you're doing this inside or you're putting it on a table that you care about, have something underneath it. I use paper towels usually for the sake of this. I, I'm just kind of doing this on my own um, the way I want it to, just with the table. But uh, don't use newspaper. I used newspaper once and I got some of the newspaper ink on it and it, uh, it smeared and it became black all over the, all over the sheet and I was not a happy camper. Uh, I'm not a happy David, but just what I recommend doing. And this will take getting used to. You, you, at first, you're not going to want to use a whole lot. Now I'm not, I'm not really not really shy with it. Uh, now that I've done this for a few years, um, I'm just going to go back through, make sure everybody is good. And also be sure to not use too much. It'll soak through the paper and it won't stick at all. What this does is it makes it a little bit thicker, uh, makes it easier to stick to the uh, to the sheet or to the helmet rather. It's like that, and you kind of look around in the light a little bit. And you can tell that I don't know if you can tell it on there, but I I've gotten pretty well everything. <coughs> so I wad it up. Actually, I don't want to get my fingers on it. So you wad it up and toss it away. So that's the way I do that. And you always put this back on. This will last you quite a while. The hobby itself is not that expensive. It's the accessories that come with it that are make it expensive. So you're probably looking at the uh, the need sheet or the recommended sheet that I gave you guys on the website, um, and you're thinking, "Wow, this is." <laughs> This is quite a bit than $25. Well, yeah, you're also purchasing this off of one site. You're purchasing this off of Amazon. You're purchasing uh, the paper itself, um, the helmets, obviously, to make your own or to sell or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, so it can it can add up. It, it, again, it is what you make of it. If you want to elevate your yourself a little bit, um, that's fine. I do a little bit extra than this sometimes, but this is just bare bones. This is how you do it. Uh, for those that want to know more, I'll always tell you, uh, give you some tips and stuff. Uh, I might not help you out completely, uh, from point A to point B, I'm going to let you exercise some, some discernment and, and figure that out for yourself. Because a lot of what this is, is, is trial and error. As I said, my helmets, uh, were terrible when I first started. Uh, my first ever review on eBay was pretty piss poor, uh, telling me I basically wasn't worth the money. And uh, instead of getting mad about it or getting getting upset about it, I mean, I was upset for a little bit, but um, get, instead of getting kind of dwelling on that and never selling ever again, what I what I did instead just because of the way that I am is I, I got better. Uh, I asked more questions around. I found some people that were, that were uh, very smart and very knowledgeable and stuff like this. So uh, I refer to them all the time whenever I have questions. So... I uh, hope that uh, I've helped out 
uh, at least a little bit. This is the first of a three-part video. I'll probably have some more videos uh, in the future if there are questions that arise that they're like, hey, what do you do in this situation? What do you do in that? What colors do you use for, for different things? How do you paint a helmet? Um, I've got some 3D printed ones, and this has been sitting out in the garage too long, but how to, how to, you'll find that different brands of paint stick well, and some like to run. You'll figure out how to do that. That's going to be a an F7 or whatever, but this will be my Ohio State speed. So, um, yeah, lots going on, lots to be excited about. I appreciate you all being here, and thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about with all this, you can go to pocketprolocker.com. You can purchase these decal sheets. These decal sheets are yours for $25. You get, let's see, one, two, three, four PDFs to download, print yourself onto some decal paper, and you can make your own Pocket Pro helmet. So uh, thank you all very much for being here. We'll see you all in part two. All right, see you later.